Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to my channel. In today's quick tip video, I've got a twofer for you. Both of them will be using the offset tool. The first is I'm going to show you how to invert what's filled in in the graphic. And then secondly, we're going to use the offset tool and create an outline for cutting. So let's just get into Lightburn and I'll show you what we're doing. So here I have a sand dollar that's going to be an earring. And you see that the majority of it is filled in, and that's not what I want. I want to have just the part, actually, I want to have just the opposite done. So let's select the graphic and click the offset tool. And you notice my settings here right now, it's set at one millimeter. And I did an outward with a round and outer shapes only. That gives us one, one kind of look here. If I select, deselect outer shapes only. That gives us a different kind of look. See, that may be what you're wanting. I, you know, you got to play with these set, play with these settings and get. Um, you can do a lot of different things, but what I'm actually wanting is I want to go with a zero offset. And now it's just as a single thin line around the out perimeter. I'm going to click OK. So you see how it it changed, what got it filled in, what gets engraved. And the way that Lightburn works is every time it comes to a line, it inverts the fill layer. Well, if I was to do this again, it went back to the original because now there's three lines on the outside edge instead of two. So it's, it's filling, not filling, and filling all in the same physical space because they're basically on top of each other. And But that brings us right to the next point, is while I have this selected, I want to make sure that Select Resulting Objects is there, and I'm going to click OK again. And now, in this case, I'm going to go down and change that to a cut layer. So if we zoom right in real close, you can see we've got two black lines on top of each other, and the offset tool is not perfect. It's something, of, you know, if it was a, just a straight square with straight, square edges, or a perfect circle, it might be a little different. This is a, a kind of a freeform shape, so they don't work exactly perfect. But you see, if you look, and I'm take out a fill, there's three lines there. So we've done three layers, but the red, the red layer is our cut layer that we want. Put that back into fill, bring that back into view. And now let's just go into our preview and see how this is gonna cut out. So as it comes across, it engraves, and you notice the little black dots around the perimeter. That's where those two lines don't perfectly match up, but it's okay because once the cut layer comes through and with the width of the cut, it's going to make all that disappear. Now it cuts the hanging hole and then goes around the perimeter. And there you have it. Just a couple of simple, quick tips for you. How to invert the fill layer, and how to cr quickly create an outline for cutting. So I hope you found this video useful to you. Click the like button if you did, and also subscribe to my channel. And finally, if, if you would do me a huge favor, down in the description are some Amazon affiliate links, including a general affiliate link. And if you click that link before you go shopping and purchase something, I'll get a little, little bit of commission off that, and it'll help me to continue to make the videos and to bring you lots of new content. So. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.